Hello. In this video, we're going to look at one of the most fascinating and important nerves in the human body, the vagus. What's this got to do with hip surgery, you might well ask? Well, as always, keep watching and I'll tell you. The vagus nerve is the tenth cranial nerve. We've got 12 of them. They are the nerves that give us the ability to smell, see, hear, stay upright, taste things and swallow. When I was a medical student, the way I remembered them was to use a rather rude mnemonic. We used to use mnemonics a lot. They're a good way of sorting and memorising complex lists of facts. The cranial nerves once started as O, 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 to touch and fondle a, uh, well, I won't go any further, as it's not the watershed yet. Vagus is Latin for wandering, and that's certainly what the vagus nerves do. It's where the word vague comes from. There are two vagus nerves, left and right. So what's, a, what's so special about them? Well, the left one is the longest cranial nerve in the body. It starts in the brain stem and leaves the skull where the jugular vein starts, around about here. It travels down the neck, into the chest and into the abdomen, branching out into the larynx here, the heart and the esophagus. It also goes to the stomach, the liver and part of the large bowel. When we test it to see if it's working properly, we ask you to open your mouth and say, ah, whilst looking inside to see if the soft palate at the back of the mouth rises on both sides. So what does the vagus nerve do? Well, it's a major part of the parasympathetic nervous system. This controls how we rest and how we digest. It tells the brain when we're full. It slows down our heart rate, helps to control blood pressure, and keeps the digestive system moving. It also controls swallowing and speech, coughing and sneezing. It coordinates all of these functions so that they work without us being aware of what's going on. It's pretty miraculous, isn't it? Many of the fibres in the vagus send information back to the brain. It tells the brain what's happening in the boiler room, so to speak. Our guts have the most enormous nervous system, and we know that problems with eating and weight control are, of course, affected by our emotions. The vagus must play a part in this. In fact, it's part of what is called the brain-gut axis. Now, you might have seen my earlier videos about inflammation and how it's involved in every aspect of how our bodies work and how they go wrong. Well, here's where the vagus gets really interesting. Recent research has shown that the vagus nerve plays a role in modulating inflammation in the body by reducing the action of cytokines. These protein molecules are part of the inflammatory pathway and they have a role in the development of arthritis. Can you see where I'm going with this? This has led to exciting new treatments like vagus nerve stimulation, where a device is implanted to send regular electrical impulses to the nerve. Nerve stimulation is commonly used to treat pain, and vagus nerve stimulation is already being used to treat some types of epilepsy and depression. There is the potential to use it for other inflammatory conditions. Alternative therapies like yoga, massage and reflexology can also affect vagal tone. Yoga encourages you to, deep, to breathe deeply and to do meditation, and these have been shown to enhance vagal activity. Slow, deep breathing stimulates the vagus nerve and promotes relaxation. Similarly, massage therapy can increase vagal activity by reducing stress and promoting a state of calm. Osteopathy and chiropractic treatments can help to correct spinal alignment and reduce nerve irritation, and you can see how these might help to enhance vagal nerve function. There are some simple exercises you can do at home to stimulate the vagus nerve. Singing, humming, gargling and practicing mindfulness are activities that some people think can enhance vagal tone. Let's try a quick exercise together. Take a deep breath in, hold it for a few seconds and then slowly exhale whilst you're humming. Try to make the exhale longer than your inhale. Do you feel that sense of relaxation? That's your vagus nerve at work. So to sum up, the vagus nerve is an important part of our body's complex communication network. It influences everything from heart rate and digestion to our immune response. I think we're going to hear a lot more about the vagus in the future. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video about the vagus nerve. Let me know in the comments below. 
If you'd like to know anything about hips or need more information, please get in touch. The details are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you all again next time.